What's up guys? This is Max Simplifier. Today I'm going to be showing you a very important video regarding the Safari extensions problem. I'm going to show you the solution. But for those who haven't yet met those problems, let me illustrate it. Sometimes the Safari extensions may stop working all of a sudden. And even worse, when they do that, it could happen like that as in my case. If I go to Safari, Preferences, and I press on the Extensions tab, nothing is there. Absolutely nothing. It's totally empty. So I cannot like set any settings, I cannot switch it on and off, and like this my Safari extensions have become totally useless. However, I have recently found a solution for this problem and I would like to give it for you. So the solution is simple. All that you've got to do is go to Google or any other search engine and download any, and I mean any, Safari extension, whether you want it or not, because, because you may delete it in the end if you want to. Once you've downloaded that Safari extension, okay, then you're, go you're going to close Safari. Once done, you go to the finder uh, and again go to the location of the extension that you've just downloaded. In my case, it's over here, Safari extensions. And here it is. I've downloaded two extensions, but for this video, you only really need one extension to fix the Safari extensions problem. So I'm going to press on one and then going to install it. But as you already may know, if I press on a Safari EXTZ file, it immediately goes away after being installed. So I'm going to duplicate it first and then I'm going to press on it okay Safari automatically opens then I press install and here it is Safari has installed it and at the same time as you can as you can see the duplicate has gone away now that that's done let's remove the finder from here and now we can go to Safari preferences and the extensions tab is good as new and working perfectly you can switch it on and off you can switch on the settings and then the extension that you have installed, if you don't really want it and you've only used it just to fix this problem, then you might just go over here and remove it because I don't want this. I got another better one, fastest tube, and uninstall. And of course, I can now set the settings and everything. However, um, there is really one disadvantage regarding this solution that something uh, like this is really a good part is that whenever I go to the extension, it's going to open up normally. However, if I close Safari by quitting it, okay, and then if I open it up again, unfortunately, unfortunately, if I go to the preferences back again and I go to the extensions, it's not there. Solution will be the same solution as I have shown earlier. You download any Safari extension file and then you open it up uh, and just before opening up, don't forget to quit Safari. This is the most important step. If you don't quit Safari, it's not going to work. Once you quit Safari, you open up the extension that you have downloaded. Once you have opened it up, you install it. Then Safari will automatically open. You go to Safari, Preferences, the Extensions tab, and everything is going to be good as new. And then you can change your settings or take it on and off and do whatever you want. Okay, and as I said, this solution got a disadvantage that if you quit Safari from here, okay, uh, you will have to do this solution once again once you open Safari. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Please join and subscribe, and if you have any comments, leave it below.